Joe Bigos, welcome back to Fright Fest. Yes, yeah, fourth time here. Fourth time. So take us through the years and the films that you've had before here. Well, technically fifth in Fright Fest total. Had a short film in 2011 that we opened for Chillerama. Uh, made Almost Human, which premiered at Glasgow in 2014. The Mind's Eye that premiered here in 2016. Bliss in London, Fright Fest in 2019, and now VFW. And wow, you've, you've had an incredibly varied career. I mean, each of, each of your films is very different, isn't it? So the one which we're going to be premiering tonight, VFW, is very different to all of those other movies. Yeah, it's a, an ensemble piece, like kind of a white-knuckle uh, siege movie with a really great exploitation cast. So it's the first time I've had like a, a cast of you know people that I grew up watching and uh, just a really simple kind of uh, boiler, you know, uh, Cracker Jack story. Take us through the cast. I mean, did you have those in mind when you were doing it or not? Um, it's, it's funny because when we started casting, I wanted somebody like a Stephen Lang type for the lead. You know, I didn't think we'd be able to get him. Uh, Sadler was another one that uh, we went out to him and uh, initially he turned it down. But then once I think we got some more cast together, you know, it didn't, he realized it wasn't going to be like a, a schlocky B movie. And, uh, you know, and actually that's once, once we got Lang in, kind of we were able to bring everybody in. You know, Fred Williamson somebody I always wanted to work with. So uh, George Wen I had worked with before in Bliss. David Patrick Kelly is obviously amazing. Uh, so, yeah, every single person in there is somebody who was, like, uh, perlocating in my mind when we started discussing the casting. So for folks that haven't seen it, take, um, <clears throat> tell us about it with no spoilers. It's like a siege movie meets uh, an early Mad Max kind of um, Bronx Warriors style movie where it's these old Vietnam vets defending their post in a kind of a neon soaked sleaze against a post apocalyptic gang who's holed up in a movie, th an abandoned movie theater. Uh, so my favorite places to frequent bars and movie theaters, my favorite on screen <laughs> characters, punk mutants and uh, grizzled Vietnam vets and a short running time with a lot of gore and special effects and action. So uh, it's pretty much, you know, the, the, the nice little package. Perfect. Right there. <laughs> perfect. Now, VFW, which isn't a familiar, <clears throat> excuse me, a familiar term in the UK, it means veterans of foreign war. Yeah, I actually didn't know what it meant either. Um, I got the script, I was like VFW, and then I read it, and ever since I read it, uh, I literally drive down the road and I see a VFW on every fucking street. So it's right. weird, it's just something that I wasn't, I guess, conscious of. But yeah, they're all over the place uh, out there, and you can't go in unless you fought in a foreign war. Um, and how did it feel, because it's a Fangoria film, how did it feel working <laughs> for or with people that you grew up with. I, mean, I grew up reading Fangoria. You must have done the same. So Yeah, it's awesome. And, you know, because they are like a new outfit and they're very young in this new generation, because you know, they used to make movies in the 90s and they were much lower quality. Mm. But um, now that they have this kind of new resurgence, uh, I feel like since I was tasked with making one of the early films, I get the chance to kind of uh, dictate what a Fangoria movie, a current day Fangoria movie should look like. And, uh, and on the cover. Yeah, yeah. Of the last issue. <clears throat> yeah, that was also, it was like a, a good cap, you know, I never expected that. I was hoping that one day I'd have a movie that was on the cover, but not me. And then I also <laughs> am obsessed with uh, Christmas time horror stuff, so the fact that I was uh, a bloody Santa on the cover is the, the bow around the, uh, the bow around the present. And the film's out in the States, isn't it? What about the UK? Have they given a date yet? I actually think it comes out on VOD this week. Ah, okay. Uh, so they're doing it off the back of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it'll be a nice little uh, lean, and then there's a, um, a physical release coming at some point too. Great. But I would imagine probably like a month or two. Because Bliss has just come out as a beautiful special edition, yeah, it, Eureka, in the UK, so. which is actually interesting because we were supposed to be VOD uh, exclusive, and then uh, suddenly, you know, we played at Fright Fest in London, and uh, we Exploded. had a really nice physical deal, and uh, got this great set with uh, you know some essays and some new commentaries that special features that they generated that weren't generated in the US, which is really cool to see. Yeah. And what do you think to Glasgow? Do you love it? I do. That's why, that's, why, that's why I'm back for the third time. Excellent. And what's next, Joe? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Whatever I can get financed. I want, I'm writing you know, a werewolf movie, a time travel movie. Great. I'd really like to do an anthology movie, a robot movie. All stuff that's kind of expensive. So, so we'll, what, see, we'll see what somebody each wants to one finance first. Different, different stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Joe. Welcome back to Fright Fest. Yeah, fuck yeah. Thank you.